typically, at least in my experience, people don't come to Calvinism just by reading the Bible. Long after my wife and I came to repentance and faith in Christ, we started attending a small local church where the pastor taught verse by verse through the Bible. I don't remember him ever mentioning terms like Arminianism or Calvinism or even a man by the name of John Calvin. I don't remember ever hearing that. Uh, a few years later, having lunch with a brother in Christ who was a member of another church, uh, we began to talk about evangelism and uh, salvation, and the topic came up about making a decision, praying a prayer and asking Jesus into your heart. And, and uh, my friend suggested that really my decision, nothing I did, had anything to do with my salvation, that it was all God's work. And initially, I, I found that kind of offensive. He was taking away from me the best decision I ever made, in a sense, but he challenged me to go look through the scriptures to see if I could find anything that would show me that that I, in any way, had something to do with my own salvation. Well, as I looked, I couldn't find anything. Instead, what I found was verse after verse about the sovereignty of God. I, I learned that that man is depraved. I'd already known that, that I wasn't a good person. And there was nothing good I could do to commend myself to God. I learned that, that God elected for himself a people, that he set apart a people for himself before the foundation of the world, that Christ died for his people. He died for those who would repent and believe in him, that would believe, believe the gospel. I, I, I learned that the grace of God is, in, a, in, a, in effect, irresistible. That everyone whom God draws to himself will indeed come. And I learned that God preserves his people. That everyone who puts their faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone for their salvation will indeed persevere to the end. I didn't know that this was called Calvinism. I wouldn't learn that term for some time later. And then I would read other authors I still haven't read to this day. Christian Institutes by John Calvin. But as I would sit under teaching and listen to the pastors and read books, I would see that what I had believing had a name and it was Calvinism. And so what I know about the sovereignty of God and salvation, what I know about Calvinism, I learned first and foremost by simply reading the word of God. Now, you may have a testimony of somebody who has. Congratulations.